it is uh, poverty that makes us push harder every day. Venturing into this kind of business was not uh, perceived to be a good one. My friends saw it like uh, it's nothing that could work in Kenya. Risks must be involved. The hard work I put into it will make it a better one someday. As a person, is a one hard working young man, that is how I perceive myself. And uh, as somebody puts it, it is uh, uh, the so called uh, uh, poverty that makes us push harder every day. And uh, one thing I know about uh, Brian, who is myself, is that I love hard work. And that's why we are here today, because of the same. My business, of course, is uh, Clean Roof Masters. That is a business that is uh, uh, majorly, or rather, it deals with uh, outdoor cleaning. And uh, uh, outdoor cleaning services are uh, services that are rarely offered uh, uh, in our country. And uh, coming up with this, we considered the same as something that will make us run uh, day in, day out, uh, because uh, it's something that we know that uh, cleaning is something that is next to godliness. And away from that, uh, cleaning is something that will be required each and every day. That's why we got into this uh, particular service, uh, because we know day in, day out, we shall always get our income through the same. Yes. And again, I will say uh, <coughs> what I do currently uh, is uh, purely uh, cleaning of the uh, uh, roof tiles, uh, the chimneys, the exterior chimneys. We do clean the exterior walls. We clean the gutters. And uh, generally, it's the outdoor clean that we're talking about. And that is my life today. As I was about to graduate last year, uh, that was in 2020. Unfortunately, we had corona with us. And I remember clearly, uh, by then we were to graduate. Uh, actually, we were to finish our classes. Thereafter, we were to graduate. But uh, it was so unfortunate that uh, we wouldn't proceed with our classes as planned because of the COVID-19. But now, uh, here comes a case whereby I was in Nairobi. I, wouldn't manage, I didn't manage to go back home. That is in Migori. And... Uh, I was so much idle as a student. Uh, here comes a case whereby I, I get into the internet uh, looking for uh, a way to survive in Nairobi. And uh, uh, through the internet, actually I was in the YouTube, and uh, I remember the so-called ads that passed through the YouTube, yeah? Passed to, uh, in one of the uh, shows that I was watching, and I was so keen, I didn't skip the ad. I was so keen into looking at uh, whatever the ad was talking about. And that is where Clean Roof Masters came. Uh, I clearly saw the business, and uh, it's not offered anywhere in Africa. Yes, because I did my research, and I saw it offered in uh, Europe as uh, a continent, the, 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 the European countries, that is. And uh, I was like, it can also work here. Why? Because we've got the same facilities that those guys use in uh, their uh, abroad cities or whichever their homes. And uh, I, I came to it, uh, learning it day by day. I remember from the start, I was, uh, I was so keen into the same, and I decided to uh, call my fellow graduates, my colleagues, uh, by then we were still students, and I asked them, uh, not all of them were in Nairobi, most of them were back at home, and I asked them about uh, uh, their financial status, because uh, at that time, it called for the so-called uh, capital. Uh, 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 we, we had to contribute the capital to start up with the same. And I remember they were positive about it, and uh, moving forth, uh, we were unable to uh, contribute the capital, by the way, but uh, we still had the idea, and we said one day, one time, we shall make it. And uh, I'm glad today we made it, by the way. Not so much, but uh, we can do something out of uh, whatever we anticipated that we could do someday uh, in the future. Uh, today, uh, looking forth on a uh, uh, clean roof, uh, back then, actually, uh, I, I remember so well uh, after the, uh, uh, after the uh, introduction of uh, the business to my friends, 
uh, there was not so much into it. Reason, they also saw it like uh, it's nothing that could work in Kenya. Kenya, uh, they, some of them say, ah, he Kenya ningumu, bro, he Kenya ningumu. But I told them we can make it just like any other business that uh, today we see a big business, but it started from a scratch, yeah? And that's why we decided we will come up with the same so that uh, we'll also make a bigger one out of the same. And that is where Clean Roof started. It started in April 2020, and uh, uh, that is when I kicked off the operations of the same. I remember buying the machine, and uh, we only had the machine itself. We had no pipes, uh, but we were, we were like, we have the machine already, yes? And uh, I think uh, having the machine, a, a journey of a thousand miles, as we say, it has to begin with a step. And I thought we have begun with the, the one step that uh, is talked about. Venturing into this kind of business was not uh, perceived to be a good one, yes? Uh, more so, I will talk about, uh, yes, the, my family. My dad, when he, he, he made the picture and uh, I saw myself uh, into the primary education, the secondary, the fees that he paid uh, until the university. And then uh, you come out with the washing of roofs. The guy was so mad at me and told me, what are you thinking about, yeah? But I told him, uh, this is a business, just like any other. And uh, considered a serious one, or uh, uh, rather the hard work I put into it, will make it a better one someday. One thing I knew is that I was coming as a pioneer, yes? And uh, I know what pioneers do, yeah? Yes, I sat in a, a class, I'm a degree older, and I sat in such classes, and we know whatever education does to us, it teaches us a lot, yeah? And uh, I'm, I'm glad that uh, education did right to me. I had the, uh, the mind to think out of the box and do whatever things I would do in a better way. Coming up with this, uh, my dad told me, no, it's not right. Yes, you could have it, but uh, uh, have something that goes in line with whatever you did in your uh, university education. And I told him, yes, if it comes through, I will go with it. But for now, I really love I've got the passion that uh, I really need to do this particular job. Whatever is uh, intensive to me might not be intensive to the other party. Uh, as a student, yes, because the company began when I was uh, a finalist in the university. And as a student, I had no income generating activity that will give me the so-called uh, capital to begin a business in a serious way or the other. Uh, the capital itself, yes, I would, I would say it wasn't a much capital as uh, uh, would say, because I know the much capital one needs to begin a very nice business is uh, maybe the real estate, yeah? But I didn't need capital for the real estate. The capital that I needed was just to buy the machine that will uh, the machine uh, that we use is a pressure uh, washing machine yes and uh, that is exactly what i needed but now of course uh, there are different sizes of machines we have uh, uh, the machines uh, coming with different prices depending on the different pressure they produce and i went for a higher pressure pressurized machine that will assist me do this particular job and uh, yes, of course, I had the hard time to uh, maybe fetch the enough capital to purchase the machine. But I remember so well, I borrowed uh, money from uh, friends. Yes, and I will say friends are important people in life. Uh, uh, wherever they are, may God bless them for the same. That the reasons as to why uh, Clean Roof is today. And I remember borrowing such uh, capital and I bought the machine. Thereafter, by, from uh, uh, that point where I bought the machine, yes, of course, I, I had no uh, required, total required equipment to do this job, yes? But uh, as time went by, we, I had the machine, I had to look for the jobs to pay off the debts and to also survive 
because you might be having the machine in the house, but you are unable to uh, uh, survive as, a, as an individual in that particular house. So, you know, I had the machine and I had to look for the, uh, the, the so-called uh, clients to help me uh, so that I would pay off the debts. Gladly, we, as we went uh, about here and there, knocking the gates. Actually, we used to do it door to door. Uh, and most of uh, our clients are uh, people from Karen, by the way, because that is where the roof tiles were, uh, were used in the ancient times. So uh, the, the current people, uh, when you knock into somebody's gate in Karen, they will ask you the first question, who are you? Then uh, we will explain ourselves produce our school IDs and tell them we are students and this is what we do and this is how we do it. We can come and do your demonstration so that if you feel it's nice to you guys, you will give us the job or rather offer us the job. If it's not nice, then we'll leave because that is exactly what we need. And these guys will tell us, come and do a demonstration for us so that we could see whatever you guys are talking about. This is a new thing and not all of them will uh, always buy the idea. But now when, uh, uh, when they saw us do the same, they will tell us, yes, carry on. So you now uh, from the little jobs we did here and there, that is where we uh, uh, collected the debts that we had and returned them back to our friends who assisted us during the hard time that we were involved in during uh, the startup or uh, invention of the same. As a student, I used to move within the university, uh, telling everybody, this is what I do uh, currently, and uh, I've got the required machine to do the same. And uh, I think uh, if you're given, uh, given a chance of the same, we'll do it in a better way, yes? And I remember one friend, uh, uh, the, the ex-chief security officer, uh, Mr. Mugambi, uh, I went to his office and told him, this is what I do, sir. And Mugambi told me, I will connect you to a friend of mine in Meru. Yes, he's a good friend of mine and they needed his roof cleaned. Yes, but he didn't have the know-how of how to do the same. And I told him, kindly do that. And I remember a week after purchasing the machine, uh, Mugambi called me, Mr. Mugambi, and told me, uh, the client is so much ready, and if you guys are ready, kindly go to his home on this particular date. And we were given a date, two weeks after purchase of the machine, we went to Meru and we served the client. Yes, I remember the client's name so well. Yes, he's called Mr. Mboria. Uh, we went to his homestead and we did a wonderful job. Uh, he was so much happy with uh, whatever things we did. and. Uh, Yes, that was Mr. Mboria who made us pay off some debts or settle some debts at the beginning. We had to uh, make the company a legal business operating company in the country. And again, uh, it is uh, a company like any other that will require employees. And uh, I remember beginning this, we began it, uh, the three of us, yes. Today we are five, yes, but we began three of us and uh, I remember, uh, these are my friends by the way, who we are within the, in this particular company and I love the spirit that they have, they are so much hard working, they respond to the calls that we have here and there. Uh, I went ahead and did the registration of the company, yes it's a legal operating business in the country, yes, and uh, uh, moving forth. We want to make it a bigger one, as uh, mentioned earlier, and we need more employees. And uh, that will be our happiness because uh, one thing we know, uh, the state of unemployment or the rate of unemployment in the country uh, seem to be so high. And we also want to employ other youth as hearts in this particular company so that together we move forward as a, a youth that is so determined in uh, whatever operations that they're called in so that uh, the country should uh, have a youthful uh, uh, population whereby uh, the rates of uh, crimes and whichever should uh, be reduced in the same. 
Yes, so again I will say the employees that we have in the company or rather the people we deal with in the company are my friends as, as stated earlier and they are graduates as myself, yeah? Yes, so as a team we are on the roof, as graduates we are on the roof. Some of the characteristics that we have as entrepreneurs, risks must be involved. Otherwise, it will be on a silver platter. Yes. And uh, as we know, anything on a silver platter will never last. Yes, so, so many risks were involved. Uh, that's why we are here today. Yes. And uh, one of the major risks I would always say is... Uh, the last coin that I had was put into the startup capital of the same. Yes, I risked big for the same. Thereafter, my friends uh, uh, funded me on the same. I hope so they also risk, by the way, because today they will come freely and ask for loans from me. Yeah, the little loans that I have, and I will always give them, yes. Uh, that was the major risk that... Uh, I think we faced. Uh, but again, I would also say, climbing the roofs are never easy. I was uh, a height phobia person. Yes, but today where I am, <laughs> there are no longer phobias of heights. Yes, I've gone to uh, so many tall buildings, uh, looking or inspecting on the same, so that we will be given jobs upon the same. But if I were a height phobia to date, then I'm so sure I would never feed myself in uh, uh, Nairobi, that is. Uh, so, so many risks were involved. Uh, I remember so uh, uh, one time uh, we were called back in Meru. And uh, yes, we were the three of us, as uh, stated. Uh, one guy already climbed the roof using a particular ladder. And I was the second guy to climb the roof. Uh, moving forth. When I was almost the roof, yes, the ladder slipped off. I wasn't stable by the roof, yes. I had to come back <laughs> with the ladder, with the same speed <laughs> that the ladder was coming back with. Yes, and uh, fortunately, we had uh, the cabros uh, within that compound. But unfortunately, the, 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 the cabros are so hard, yes. Yes, fortunately the, we had the cabros, we never had the nails here and there, but they were the hard ones, yeah? Yes, I remember uh, knocking myself down in a nice way, and uh, my, I, I, I was praying, I was praying. I loved my grandmother so much, may she rest in peace, and I told her grandmom, <laughs> let my head not eat the cabros, yeah? So I decided to move to the Cabros in a nice way, using my sitting allowance and uh, my back, yeah? And I remember I fell with a thud, and the guy who was on top of the roof was so much quiet, because he knew my brains were all over the, the Cabros, yeah? But now uh, the guys who were down, when I had uh, the thud, they ran to my rescue. The moment I realized my mind is still functioning. I woke up immediately just to check whether I was broken because I knew I would never survive that. <laughs> but uh, in a nice way, I wasn't broke, but I was shaking parallel because of the, 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 the sudden change of environment, you, you know, <laughs> yes. And I was so much shaking and I remember the guy who was on top of the roof was quiet for a moment, but when he realized I was, uh, I was alive, he laughed, he laughed thoroughly. And I remember we walked <laughs> when that was the topic of the story, yes? And now moving forth, there was nobody who climbs any roof without the ladder being uh, supported for him. And those are some of the risks that we passed through. But today we are glad. Those are lessons that we learned and uh, we know so well. The time frame of cleaning uh, depends on the size of the roof. Yes, the bigger the roof, the more time it takes. The shortest time I think we've uh, ever cleaned is a day. Yes, 
a day that would uh, maybe 20 hours uh, no, uh, in the normal houses that we've cleaned it, it it usually takes two to three days two to three days yes that's a standard roof the machine that i use is uh, electricity operated yes it uses electricity because uh, the ones that use uh, the petrol or diesel are never efficient that is what you are told by the uh, sellers of the same they told us uh, a day, you know, like uh, the machine that I have will run for a day without stopping. But they tell us these other ones will always run for a few hours, then they stop automatically. You don't know where's the problem, but you have to restart it and all that. But the machine that we use works throughout the day because uh, of all the works we've done, we've always worked throughout the day. Yes, so my, my machine, or rather our machine, is a perfect one. It serves us, it serves us best. Poverty drives me into hard work. If I will sit in my uh, small house there, uh, one thing that I know is that I will sleep hungry. Yes, and you have no other wife. You've got the machine, yes but you have no uh, uh, income or uh, whichever, the so-called money, to do a few things here and there. We have to, we have to be vibrant in the social media. We have to move and strive so hard to meet most of the clients. Because one thing I know is that the roofs are so much dirty in the country. As I said, we are the pioneers, the pioneers of the same. And uh, so many roofs, are unwashed in the country. And we have to move with speed and accuracy to make sure that we've captured all the clients, done a good job for the same, done a good job for them. And uh, at the end of the day, we know in a few uh, months time, they will call us back and tell us the wonderful job you did, needs, uh, uh, you need, uh, we need another service of uh, uh, the same.